considering weight loss surgery, because if you did it, Defiant patients who pissed off doctor now on my 600 pound life. Hey guys, welcome back to Film Visionary. Dr. Now is a superhero for many. He has turned their lives around not only medically and physically, but also emotionally and mentally. While some follow his guidelines to a T, some defiant patients think they're smarter than the doctor out there. Stay tuned to see some of them. These are five defiant patients who pissed off Dr. Now on my 600 pound life. Number five, James King. When James' episode appeared, he was one of the most weighed participants on the show. Like other participants, he was also sent home to lose weight. But to Dr. Now's disbelief, not only did James land up in the hospital with a severe infection, but gained 112 pounds more. That was when he lost it over James and his girlfriend and blamed them for not trying at all. His angry encounter with Lisa was justified as she was, in fact, killing James by overfeeding him. Dr. Now did not mince his words and made it clear that James is weeks away from dying. And the only reason he has survived until now is because of doctor's intervention. Tired of the games being played by the couple, he made it a point that he will no longer attend to them if they continue to waste the hospitals and resources like that. We have never seen poor Dr. Now so appalled before when he says he is sick and tired of wasting his time. Truly sad, isn't it? I don't know, you're the doctor. I don't know what you're gonna do well, about you're it. you're gonna have to lose some weight. I didn't know that, I thought it was, I didn't know it was because of circulation and all that. Considering weight loss surgery, because if you did it, Number four, Stephen Asante. Fans know Dr. Now never turns any patient coming to the hospital. But one of the most infuriating patients on the show, Stephen Asante pushed Dr. Now to such a limit that he wasn't even ready to listen to him. Curious to know what he did? Well, Stephen was abusing the system to feed his drug addiction as he visited multiple emergencies numerous times to refill his pain medications. Looking that he is wasting his one shot at life, Dr. Now gave him a serious reality check when he made it clear that he will either die or end up in jail. His rebellious attitude pissed Dr. Now so much that he was forced to order security to call police because he was not going to tolerate him anymore. Uh, now we'll talk about the weight. You're not here for any options. So we have to decide if we are done treating. Look at the take me home. I, I don't know. Number three, Shanae Murray. When patients meet Dr. Now for help, he makes it a point to explain to them that if they don't curb their diet and exercise, they cannot enter the program. But the 780 pound Shanae was defiant to such an extent that she actually pulled the brazen act of sneaking pizza into the hospital under Dr. Now's nose. This truly unacceptable behavior was to be addressed by Dr. Now himself, who walked into her room and tossed a box of pizza onto her bed. Not only had she been ordering pizza, but burgers too, and moreover, lied about it. He had enough of her lies because her gain of 48 pounds during the hospital stay was telling a different story. The heated argument ended when Dr. Now made it clear to Shanae that if she does not lose 100 pounds in a month, that will be the end of the journey for her. Number two, Lisa Fleming. When the audiences first met Lisa, her daughter had discovered maggots in her skin. Sadly, this wake-up call was not enough for Lisa, whose ride on my 600-pound life was a bumpy one, owning to her antics. Dr. Nal had expected Lisa to lose 60 to 70 pounds on his controlled diet, but Lisa had lost only 18. This had gotten Dr. Nal suspicious that Lisa's partner, Herbert, was sneaking in food for her, but both denied it. 
he decided to send her home for now and induct her into therapy. Unfortunately for Lisa, while examining, Dr. Now found a pack of chips rolled in her sheets. Dr. Now was pissed at this discovery and gave a stern warning to Lisa, who continued to deny that she had been eating any junk. Dr. Now said Lisa will die soon if she does not stop this defiant behavior. But sadly, Lisa did not succumb to her condition and died a year later. Definitely a reality check for patients who continue to show resistance despite Dr. Now's repeated warnings. Hey, hey, hold up! Before we move to number one, do us a favor and please subscribe to the channel. And oh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. All right, let's move on to the finale. Number one, Lee Sutton. When Lee visits Dr. Now after her bypass surgery, things get ugly as this defiant patient is not ready to accept the bitter truth. Lee lost only nine pounds since her surgery, which was surprising for Dr. Now, and he decided to delve deep into the matter by asking her questions, which Lee was not interested in answering seriously. Her casual responses started to piss off Dr. Now, and things got worse when she tried an obviously failing attempt to outsmart Dr. Now by saying it is the retained fluid which is not letting her scale go down. Sad that she is wasting a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Dr. Now gives her a reality check, but Lee is not ready to listen and gets up and leaves, slamming the door into Dr. Now. So which patient angered you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't liked the video yet, so it's never too late, give it a thumbs up, people. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we've got tons of amazing videos coming. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.